I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same. Yep, it's the same. Probably even worse. Okay, the bus is driving like it's not wild itis. It's turning right, and the driver has their hair up into a ponytail. I can 100% guarantee that the bus driver is a female without wild itis 1.0 or 2.0, and it's headed for our neighborhood. And there it goes. I have to tell the others. French fry, I saw a non wild itis bus outside headed for our neighborhood. Okay, David, I'm going to see it outside. Eric, PC9, wake up. I saw a non wild itis bus with a U Haul trailer and it's going to our neighborhood. Okay, David, I'll go out and see what the big deal is. Butters, you're up. Great, I saw a non wild itis bus driving outside. Is it headed for our neighborhood? Yes. Now put down the controller and let's go. Later. Um, I think we should have bought a lighter TV for our summer vacation. Me too, Mac. I generally think that we should have got a newer TV. Here. Do you need any help? Yes, Ed. Me and Frankie would want some help carrying this TV over into the house. All right, Mac. Here goes. Thank you. You're so nice, Ed. Eric, should we go up and introduce ourselves when they come back from bringing that TV in? Yes. We should definitely introduce ourselves. They look pretty cool. What on Robert's Earth are you doing here? We just want to introduce ourselves. Oh, introducing ourselves? My name is Mac. And my name is Frankie. Frankie Foster. Hi, Hi Mac. Mac. Hi, Hi, Frankie. Frankie. I'm David. David Smith. And I'm Eric. Hi, Hi David. David. Hi, Hi Eric. Eric. How about we play a game of my house? Sure, David. What's it called? Hello, everyone. My name is Blue. I hope you two like me. Hey, Blue. Sorry. But you can't just interrupt David and Frankie's conversation like that. Yep, especially since I was going to tell. So, can I introduce the imaginary friends to you? Um, sure. Okay. So, the part tree part bird is Coco, the purple one is Eduardo, the red one is Wilt, and the yellow one is Cheese. They're all quite interesting, Mac. Mac, did you make all these imaginary friends? No. We adopted them all. I did make Blue though. Still, impressive. I'm gonna get the rest of my members. Now, David. About the game? Okay, so it's called Have You Ever, Frankie. How does the game play? You'll need two to four players for the optimal game. Each player will have a set of cards, all having a question starting with Have You Ever. We play it to know more about each other. Um, David? How do you take turns? It can't be just one big free-for-all. Mac, the board consists of a spinner and a wheel. If the spinner lands on you, you have to take a card out and read it. What happens if the spinner lands on you twice in a row? Then you have to spin it again. If it lands on you again after that, keep spinning until it lands on somebody else. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting game to me, David. Are you talking about the classic Have You Ever game, David? Yes. I was. Anyway, these are Mac, Frankie and the imaginary friends, French Fry. Hi, Hello, Mac. Mac. Hello, Hi, Frankie. Frankie. Hey, do you want to know our names? Yeah, sure. Everybody, tell us your names. I'm PC Guy. I'm Butters. Butters Stotch. And I'm French Fry. Hi, Hi PC Guy. Hi, Hi, French Fry. Butters. Hi, PC Guy. Hi, French Fry. I think Butters looks like to be my age. Hey, Mac. You seem pretty cool. Do you want to be friends with me? Sure, Butters. Let's be friends. But, we have to bring in the rest of the stuff into the house. Okay. You can do that. So, Frankie, are you moving in here permanently or not? No, Eric. We'll only be living here for the summer until Labor Day in September. Hey. Frankie, could you please let us in? 
sure, that's all get in. A few moments later. Mac, do you want to hear about how I live my life? Sure, David. It looks like Tyson Land is in another crisis. Okay, so, I live like your ordinary 12-year-old human. You got your family, your friends, and whatever a 12-year-old has. Except, there's one thing off about our lives. The crisis you mentioned, it's a disease. It's called wilditis. Wait, wilditis? What is that? Okay, wilditis is a disease where everybody worships the 2006 Disney film, The Wild. The Wild? You. That movie was terrible. And it still is, Frankie. The virus was first developed by Chordot, and we were going to stop it last night. What happened when you tried to stop it? We dropped the reverse on to Samsung the Lion, who turned it into Wilditis 2.0. That's bad, David. But, I will help you stop Wilditis 2.0. Yeah, yeah, Mac. We will, we will stop, stop this, this virus, virus together. together.